Hello fellow problem solvers. So they're going to be doing a problem from my first team selection test for the Junior Ball Camel Olympiad back in 2012. Problem number one. I suggest you try this problem out for a minimum of 10 minutes. And if you're sort of in a competing in junior level competitions, try it out for ideally 30 to an hour, hour and a half, not more than four hours. If you'd like to go along with us, just give it a go. Draw the diagram for the next 10 minutes. This is good if you're really just like starting to do geometry so let's see a b c d e are concyclic okay there's a it's a pentagon such that a b e b c e and e c d is 45 okay so let's say let's draw the circle and now let's first draw point a now let's put a point b somewhere doesn't matter where and then we need e such that this is 45 okay so this is 90 and then boom, 45. And this gives us point E. And now I need B, E, C to also be 45. So this is say 90 and then boom, this is B, E, C, also 45. And then E, C, D is also say 45. <laughs> okay, doesn't look like it. Um, yeah, and then we must prove what? We must prove this condition right here, a b squared plus c e squared. Now, the way to go about this problem is to first see, okay, what do we have, say, with this very bad diagram? Mind you, we should have a better diagram. Well, what do we have from the angles? So let's just see a b e is 45. We have this angle is 45 as well. So we have that a c is perpendicular to b e. And then let's also see what we have from this one being 45. Say this one's 45. So 45, 45. We have BD is perpendicular to CE. And AC is perpendicular to BE. Now I invite you to pause for the next 5, 10 minutes. And try to you know, push the problem further. And here's the next step. So what do we have? We need to draw this in a way such. So we're going to have A then a point c say it's here a c point b such that this is at a 45 degree angle however wait a second this is at a 45 degree angle this is 90 do i have this angle if this is 90 this is 45 45 that makes this 45 so it means that this is equal to this. Now, what are these sides? A, B squared plus C, E squared. So it's this squared plus this squared. And the sum of these two squares, this squared is equal to this squared plus this squared. This squared is equal to this squared plus this squared. So we can have, call this intersection point O. We will have, so this is a question mark. But A, B squared plus C, E squared given this is 90, is OE squared plus OC squared plus OB squared plus OA squared, which is equal to OA squared plus OC squared times 2. We know this is the case. Now, BE squared plus CD squared. So BE squared plus CD squared is now what we need. And BE squared is actually interesting because that has this squared and this squared. And are we, is that okay? X plus, yeah, X plus Y squared is greater than or equal to X squared plus Y squared. So it's strictly greater than that, so we're good. Now, what do we need? We need BE. And what do we know about E? Uh, what do we know about D, actually? You know, BD is perpendicular to this. And we know also that this angle is 45, though we can get that just from this perpendicularity. And now we need CD squared. Now we have CD squared plus EB squared is really if this is point say P, then we have that is PD squared plus PC squared. So this is going to be PD squared, two times PD squared plus PE squared. What is now PD squared plus PE squared? 
now I'm seeing this, this is equal to what? Well, it's equal to two times two times ed squared. And then what about here? We have OA plus OA squared plus OC squared. Well, we can look at this as OA plus OE, OA squared plus OE squared, which is going to give us two times AE squared. So we need to show that AE and ED are actually in fact the same. And why is that the case? I invite you to pause for five, 10 minutes and prove that. Maybe even more if you're just starting out with geometry. And the answer is, well, the angles. So we need to have, let's actually look at it. So ED and AE, what is this angle right here? Well, this angle is the angle on the chord ED, which is 45. This angle on the chord AE is equal to this, is equal to this, which is also what? It's also 45. So we have 45 is 45. These angles are the same, and ergo, these side lengths are the same as well. I mean, EAD is an isosceles triangle, and this shows that this is equal to this, and from there it follows that this is equal to this. And so we're done. This finishes up the first geometry, which I forgot how much I had. I'll put it in the comments below how much I had on this problem if I find that out. And as always, thanks for problem solving.